today I bought a new tool. Um, I do a lot of DIY stuff, stuff on my own home. Um, I've owned this Harbor Freight 16 gauge finishing nailer for a couple of years and honestly it's been pretty good overall. Um, the only issue I have with it, and to be fair, I've rarely oiled this thing, which could definitely be the issue, but um, I get a lot of jams, a lot of jams, pretty consistently actually. Um, and I got a buddy that just hired me to do all the trim work in his house. It's probably about 4,500 square feet, and I definitely don't want to be dealing with frequent jams. So, you know, for the money, that was great, but it was time for an upgrade. Um, I decided to go with this Hitachi. I have been looking, I was pretty much, <coughs> I was basically sold on the Bostitch. Um, I bought one of their nailers for doing flooring uh, this past year, and I was really impressed with it. It's done a great job. I've got a Bostitch pancake compressor, does a great job. But um, uh, let me just go ahead and unbox it, and then I'll talk about the differences of what I thought. So right off the bat, anything that comes with a hard case, I'm kind of a sucker from. Quality control, the uh, sticker right here doesn't line up quite centered with that deal. Not a big deal, but <coughs> sometimes it's those little details that can tell you a little bit about a tool. But here's the inside. You've got a nice little place for your owner's manual. Um, I've already registered this one, but I put my receipt in here and everything, so I have that proof of purchase. Comes with safety goggles right out of the box. You don't see that on everything. A nice little place to put them in. Um, not really a selling point for me, but kind of neat. So here's the tool. Um, of course I messed around with the display. I bought this one at my local Lowe's. Um, and I've got several Hitachi tools and they always seem to be just a good consistent quality for the most part. Um, you've got your normal loader where you pull it back and it locks in place. You've got your little release. This has got the traditional style thingy on top if you have a jam. Take that over and snap that back down. It's got a pretty big um, tip, which, you know, the Bostitch, um, they have the new fine point tip, which they say is better precision and this and that. But honestly, I got to thinking about it, and you know, the bigger, nice, flat, soft rubber tip you have, the less likely you are to dent or mar your workpiece. So, you know, I consider this a good thing. Um, I was looking at a couple different options for the Bostitch. Um, <coughs> this particular gun was right about $160. The Bostitch, um, you could get their fine point, newer, better gun for $140. You know, I could have saved about 20 bucks. Or the other thing I considered was you can get the pancake compressor, the combo with a pancake compressor, a uh, 16 gauge finishing nailer, an 18 gauge brad nailer, and a stapler, uh, all for 200 bucks. That's cheaper than I could buy um, the Bostitch Fine Point 16 gauge and 18 gauge. Just those two, I can't buy those for that price. But I got to mess around with the guns and there's a lot more plastic components on them and things like that. Um, so then it came down to the Fine Point you know, my whole, the whole reason I'm upgrading is not because this old one doesn't do the job anymore. I just want something better, more consistent, an upgrade. And I don't mind spending money on a tool that's going to last me a lot of years. So, um, the Bostitch fine tip ones, it had uh, like a, more of a plastic piece up here that came open to mess around with it. And the display model, that thing didn't want to lock down anymore. So you can learn a lot from a display model, um, the abuse they take from people coming in and putting their hands on, but that was kind of an element to me that I thought that may be a little bit of a, a heads up on what could break in the future. Um, also, they just had a few other plastic components 
I kind of like the way that they loaded better as far as the 18 gauge nailer. Um, but this just seems like a more solid <coughs> design. Um, so anyway, like I mentioned before, the smaller tip on the uh, bot stitch, I can see where precision would be nice, but at the same time, you're more likely to put a dent in your surface with it. And at the end of the day, this one just felt like it depresses way easier. And hey, if it, if it makes it your work just a little bit easier, if you're up in a tight space and you don't have to really push in on that thing, that's a key selling point to me. This thing feels good in the hand. <coughs> Not much of a difference between this and the boss stitch as far as weight and stuff, but you know, Hitachi makes good tools in my opinion. All of them that I've owned, I've been real happy with. But this is the 16 gauge finish nailer, straight nail finishing nailer. Um, I haven't used it yet. I just literally opened it up, registered it. I was supposed to start this job today, but my buddy didn't get uh, his stuff, his trim bought last night like he said he did. So anyway, I got that. Um, I'm ready to start that. Hopefully tomorrow I'll take my GoPro with me on the job and hopefully get started with that and kind of just take it for a test run, make sure I don't have any big issues with it. So I had initially bought the new gun, um, the Hitachi, for the upgrade for my Harbor Freight one. And after using it a day, I wasn't totally sold on it. So I decided I may as well go back and buy the Bostitch that I was originally looking at and thought I would want more. Um, I used both of them. So I will show you me using both of them and then I'll, uh, show you out of the box kind of what they both look like and then I will explain which one I chose to keep, which one I return, and why. So, I like the Bostitch case better. Um, I like the buckling system on it. It just feels more heavy duty. feels like the gun fits in here really nicely and everything. Um, so I paid I paid 130 bucks for this gun after using my lowest card. Um, I like the way it's packaged. I like that it comes in plastic. Um, it's a good looking gun. Um, it does come with some nails right out of the box, which is nice, which the Hitachi does not. So at least you got something in the box to get you started. So it's with a 100 pack. Not much, but it's something. Um, love the case on this one. It seems like it's got a little room for other things, extra nails and whatnot. 
Um, <clears throat> things I love about the Bostitch. Love, love, love the belt clip. It's a reversible belt clip. I think it's a toolless thing. Somehow you just squeeze it. You can swap it from your left or right side. That's a great, great option. So many times you're up on the ladder and you're holding up a piece of trim, ready to nail it, and you look down and your gun's down on the floor and you have to get down and start over again. So having that, be able to attach that right on your side, like so, such a nice feature. Um, it has a built-in pencil sharpener, which is maybe a little bit gimmicky, but I could see how that could come in handy. Um, <clears throat> it's got a metal trigger, unlike the Hitachi, um, has a plastic with a little rubber insert on it. The, the toolless um, deal where you can unjam it is pretty nice, pretty handy, pretty easy to use. Those are the features I like about the Bostitch. Um, the things I don't like. So to load your nails, you have to pull this little trigger, you have to push them in here, and you have to push them up far enough to be able to pull this past and then back up. It's just, it's kind of a pain to load. I like the more traditional style where you just lock it in place, shove them in here and go. Uh, <clears throat> that's kind of a preference thing, or if you're a person that goes back and forth between, you know, say, inch and a half nails, and then you want to drive two and a half inch nails, it's just a pain to get those back out and try to change them. I will say, one nice thing about this is it seems to push them all really nice and straight, and I think uh, it helps hold them in line so you can shoot all the way down to your last nail, no problem. So, <clears throat> not crazy about that. This is all plastic, which I'm not crazy about. Um, just the feel of this one overall, it's, it's, it's got a bigger head on it. The grip feels fatter in the hand. I've got small hands, so maybe it'll fit someone with bigger hands or average size hands better. But I feel like I'm really reaching to get to that trigger. It just doesn't fit my hand that well. I think it feels big. It doesn't feel heavy. It just feels bulky. And it feels really fat in my hands. The other thing is, this one, it feels cheap. I mean, it's a mag mostly magnesium body. It looks great. Um, I'm sure it's pretty durable. Uh, but this whole top piece here is plastic. This is all plastic. It feels cheap in the hand. You know, and maybe it's not. Maybe it would hold up great. I've got one other Bostitch flooring stapler that's, you know, I put down 1,600 square feet of flooring with it with no issues. Um, so as far as this, uh, the adjustment to change from rapid fire to single fire is pretty easy. You just push in on this side and spin that back and forth. Pretty easy to work. Now the smart tip, um, I love and hate this. This is the one thing, um, I wanted to like this gun so much. I wanted to keep it, I wanted to love it. Um, I could live with everything else. This was the one thing I loved and hated. So you don't have to push this in on your work very hard at all. So what happens, the safety pushes out on this little tip and it won't fire if that comes out. So you, it has to sense that you have something there and you just put a little bit of pressure and it will fire. Smart tip, it's great because you can get right up tight into corners. You can really put an angle on that nail if you need to. You can get up tight in the corner of the top of a, a door trim, a door frame or something like that. You can really place a nail close to those 90 degree seams. That's great. The problem with this for me is when you've got your pressure where it needs to be to drive a nail and you touch your workpiece with it, when you pull the trigger and it fires, it bounces back and hits. And almost every single time it leaves a dent. It's not a huge deal. You're gonna go back, you're gonna fill nail holes. Um, but it's just, it's extra work. I mean, it's not a lot, but it adds up when you're filling all these nail holes to have to fix a dent. And you know, with some practice, I was able to get quite a few clean ones. So it might be something you could get used to, but I just found overall, my Hitachi just makes a cleaner hole. 
in a lot of cases, it was a smaller, slightly smaller hole with my Hitachi, even though they're both shooting um, 18 gauge nails, 18 gauge brad nails. Um, but yep, yeah, it just it bounces back and puts a dent in almost every single piece uh, that I've attached with this. Hitachi, you know, I'm not crazy about these plastic fasteners. I think that's something that can break over time. Um, but, you know, I take good care of my tools. I'm sure it will last me a long time anyway. But, the Hitachi, it's got your traditional style where that lock back, locks back. You can let it forward. It's got your traditional style uh, bump, which you can't get as tight in the corners as you can with the Vostage, for sure, but it leaves your workspace super clean. It makes a super clean drive. The Hitachi, you know, I don't know which one is necessarily bigger, but the, uh, the Vostage feels bigger and bulkier, and I think it is. You know, you compare these two, compare these two side by side, the Vostage is definitely a little bulkier. Um, it's slightly longer. You know, not a huge difference, but the grip on the Bostitch feels like a rubberized plastic. It feels more plastic than rubber. The Hitachi is definitely a grippy rubber. I like that. And um, the Hitachi, I think, has less room for your hand on it if you're someone with big hands, but you know, I, it works for me. There's something about the feel of the Hitachi, uh, both in your hand, it's better balanced. Um, the Bostitch, it just, not that it tips over, it just feels bulky and unbalanced in your hand when you're holding it. Is the Hitachi feels like it has a lot of bulk behind your hand and in front, and it just feels balanced better. It just feels like a more solid gun in your hand. Um, <clears throat> When you put this to your piece and pull the trigger, just the sound and everything of the Hitachi sounds so much better. Um, the Bostitch, you know, it sounds fine, but this, the Bostitch kind of feels like um, an entry level gun compared to this. When you put it to your work piece and pull the trigger, it just, whap, just makes a great, great solid feel and sound. Another great feature of the Bostitch is it's oilless. You know, that would be really nice to not have to oil tools. I'm the worst about remembering to oil things, and especially when you go to a job site. You don't always think to bring oil with you. But, you know, I could see that being a good and bad thing. You know, a tool that has moving parts that doesn't require oil kind of makes me wonder how long is that thing really going to last. One feature I love about the Hitachi is this little air passage, this little blower. It's got a little hole right here in the top of it. When you push this button, it blows a very thin needle stream of pretty solid air pressure um, to clean off your workpiece. So you're sitting here, you're getting ready to nail something, you got dust all over, you can spray that off. My big thing is my miter saw gets covered in dust. A lot of times I'm on a job site, I've got my compressor, I've got my guns, uh, but I forget to bring an air chuck, an air hose with me to be able, or an air chuck or an air gun with me to be able to blow off my saw before I even put it in my truck or, or just clean it off because I'm finished with it. And having that, that's a great feature. As long as I've got this with me, I've always got an air gun built in. So. Um, the other thing, it is a plastic trigger on this, but it's got a little bit of a rubber, rubberized texture there. So that's, that's a nice feature. It just feels good. Yeah, if you can't tell from the way I'm talking about these, I have decided to keep the Hitachi. Uh, I wanted to like the Bostitch with the smart point. Uh, the Bostitch has some really, really great features. It just, at the end of the day, um, it doesn't matter how good of features or gimmicks a tool has. Um, I'm going to pick the tool that feels more solid, that feels like it's going to last, and does the most consistent, clean job. You know, I really wish I had a belt hook on this Hitachi. That's the one thing I really wish it had. So, um, 
I'll probably be trying to find something for that or just rig something up with a carabiner and a zip tie or something. Bostitch, not a bad gun. It's got a lot of great features. Uh, just be careful of that smart point. Maybe it's something you get used to over time. Uh, but in my book, uh, the Hitachi is the winner. You know, it wasn't a super clear option from the beginning, but after just one day of using them both, laying down a lot of base trim and door frame trim, uh, door casing, window casing, baseboard trim, Hitachi's the winner for me.